Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my illustrious, wonderful, beautiful family. How y'all doing this morning? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. I don't plan on being on this particular video very long. Um, I got more to put out, but this one is just something that some thoughts of mine um, about Donald Trump and the people who voted for Donald Trump. Um, it's amazing how you can see the, the world in this much anarchy and don't see him as a represent a true representation of America embodiment, um, chaos, confusion, just a liar. And if any, any sane and rational person is listening to Donald Trump and they see all of the lies that he's telling, there's no black people up in these office in this in this office. You had we had Barack Obama, who was the biggest puppet master. Well, we ain't gonna go into that. That's another story for another day. I've never seen this much confusion on the planet, and I'm well past fifty. <laughs> so, the stuff that happened before my time was what my grandmother and them used to tell me about. And now, I never thought that my children or my grandchildren would be living that life that I didn't live. Uh, we were fighting back when I, when I was in my youth. Um, and the government, in fact, was allowing itself to be the greatest country that it could possibly be by trying to make right some wrongs that it had perpetrated against um, the black segment of society. And you actually saw a lot of pl things put in place um, after watching so many bloody assassinations like Kennedy and Malcolm X and Dr. King. It, it was just a real, real, real volatile, explosive time. But somehow you still had the sense that America wanted to right the wrong. You ha I had that sense as a kid. Maybe, you know, it was just childlike hope. Um, but we had a feeling that we were moving in the, direct, in the right direction. And in some instances, you can tell by the laws that were enacted that we were. We were. Now, I agree that whenever the white man is signing one thing with one hand he's simply behind his back doing something else to make sure that that doesn't work and that's why i really don't have a lot of confidence uh, collectively for white people as a group but individually i have those that i respect and um and all i say to them is when i see them is why can't you get your family members together because there's nothing else to me to say than that. You don't have to come over here and try to help us do anything. Get your family members intact because they are running amok. They're running amok. They're shooting up schools. They're doing everything that you could possibly name that a savage would do. So, like I said, we're at a time now that there is no, that, that in my opinion, I haven't lived through. But I do want to say that how can y'all sit here and listen to Donald Trump lie to you and let your children watch him? Let your children try to respect the office of the presidency when you're sitting there looking at a thief, a liar, and a murderer, and all these bandits and uh, shysters down. How, how can you try to teach your child any sense of moral or morality and then say stuff like, and don't Ever, ever, ever be a bully. I mean, everything that America stands for is so contradictory. And we are such a nation of hypocrites that at this point, all you can do is look at the scripture that says, come out from her. That's all you can do. America is on its way down the drain. Just like France, just like all the other great empires. The only sad thing is we were the greatest nation that God has ever produced, actually. How we got there is a tr is is just is is mind-boggling. It's mind-boggling. 
But I dare anybody challenge the fact that America has produced more with, with, within any other country at any other time in history. Well, hell, they had free labor, they had a, a plan, and then you had a bunch of narcissists um, who developed a world and by stealing alchemy from the indigenous people, stealing land from the indigenous people, and then creating a world full of madness that now we all have to participate in. I love America. And because I say things about America that are negative does not mean I love her. This is the only country I know. But I know that I had I had to come from up under a lot of her beliefs because a lot of America's beliefs are straight satanic. And if you don't know that by now, then I don't know what could convince you that you could actually see a man that represents the presidency of the United States, that represents a high office, the leader of the free world, and he's a liar, and he's not balanced correctly. And every time you see him and you look at his posture and you look at the, what he leaves in the wake whenever he comes through, it's nothing but high octane mental illness as far as I'm concerned. And if I'm the only one that sees that, oh well, let it be. I doubt it. I doubt it. And I just want to hear from the good white people. How come y'all haven't gotten him out of office? How come y'all are allowing y'all fellow white men to wreak havoc on this country? And you accepted it. Because see, if Barack Obama hadn't been doing that, even though I don't agree with Barack Obama and his tennis policies at all, even though I voted for him, if he was up there running amok the way Donald Trump is, there is no way in the world he's still be in office right now. And y'all know it. You know it. But you can take all this mental abuse, physical abuse, um, just madness from Donald Trump. And part of what we do here <laughs> is take try to take control of our mental health. As y'all can see in the t-shirts behind me. If you want to support the channel, I would really appreciate it. $10 would get you one of these nice t-shirts. Any size available. Because um, I really want to start a movement where we really understand that it's important that we take control of our mental health. It's so important that we protect the dome because now it's under attack. Every day that you get up is trauma. And if you're a black person, you feel the trauma. And don't you don't need any white person to validate the trauma you feel and to try to tell you, oh, just keep your head up in the air and go, mm, oh, don't listen to that. Connect with the mother of all life. And then when you do that, understand that every day you wake up as a black person, it really is a fight for you to stay consciously balanced in a world where people are trying to take your soul and they have been trying to do it since the time you arrived on these shores. They've tried to put you in a they have put you in a subservient position, have created a, a, um, a pain body in us um, where our self-esteem is not where it should be. Uh, we have been made to be the scapegoat of all of society. And with that being said, it is imperative that we take control of our mental health because we have been living with demons for a long time. And these demons not only kill us, they kill themselves. So they have no respect to person. They'll kill anybody and they have all the most uh, <laughs> sophisticated weaponry you can ever possibly imagine. So you're dealing with Satan in Satan domain and you have to understand it's very important that we protect our mental house. Okay? So, if you like a t-shirt, y'all, come on, hit me up. And I'll be glad to ship it out to you. $10 to take control of your mental house. Wear your t-shirt and wear it proudly. And um, I'm going to see y'all next time in the mental house. Bye-bye.